One of the most popular earrings are the hoop ones and also the dangling earrings. But in this tutorial, we are not going to make any of them, but a very different that has the two at the same time. Pick up a 2.5 in diameter rounded shape two rondel beads or stones, wire of 18 gauge for the main structure, but you could use 20 gauge too. But as this is a thinner wire, you should absolutely hammer it. Also for the weaving parts, we need 24 gauge wire. I prefer to choose 18 gauge wire, which is a thicker one to make the structure. Round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, flush cutter also is needed as the tools. Start with the rounded and cylindrical shape and the 18 gauge wire. The length depends on the circle that you choose. As the diameter is bigger, the length would be longer and vice versa. Here, I'm using a 2.5 diameter cylindrical shape, so I need to cut about 17 centimeters on this 18 gauge wire. So I mark it and cut it with flush cutter or wire cutter. As we use the soft wire, probably you would be encountered with some weaving parts that could be easily be omitted with chain nose pliers. Just put it between the pliers and with a piece of napkin, just pull it to be all straight. You could do this with a plastic hammer to make the wire straight at first, because this is a very crucial step for this design. Then after making the wire all straight, I need to leave one centimeters for the start and five centimeters for the vertical line. So I mark it with a marker, then put chain nose pliers on the point that I had marked and make a 90 degree bend, as easy as it is. This part is going to be all rounded all around the cylindrical shape that we had chosen. I put mine in between and here is the point. It should be exactly at the midpoint. So I keep it tight and wrap this longer tail all around the cylindrical shape. This is a little sloped onto the cylindrical shape and just like in helix. When you wrap it all around, you would have something like this, a straight line and a circle attached. There should be about three millimeters left and as a extra part that I'm making it circular to be wrapped properly and this is the place we are going to make a wire wrapping part as the joint and attachment in this part. Also, we are going to make another at this end to make it all firm and tight. But before, we should decide about the stone or bead. I'm using this pink one, but you could use any other kinds just like this green malachite stone that I like it very much or the pearl or even the synthetic turquoise or any other kind of stones that you like. This is a great point choosing your favorite bead or stone to set it with the dresses and clothes that you desire. Now let's extract the bead or stone and make the first joint here to make the complete circle. So pick up the thinner wire. I'm using the 24 gauge one and insert it into the circle. And while you keep it all tight, 
Make a tie with that thinner wire. Just like when you make a tie with a piece of yarn. That is just like that. Let's make it and squeeze it as you could with your fingers. And to make it even more tight, you could use your pliers. I'm using my round nose pliers to make it firm and to be squeezed and wrapped better. Repeat this for about four or five times. Make it rounded with your round nose pliers, insert the wire in, pull it, and again repeat it to achieve this attachment. And don't forget to squeeze the start and ending point well, not to have any sharp edges. Now let's make another attachment at the other half, but before, insert the stone or bead in. Check the shapes till now and if needed, move it a little to be all straight and the vertical line to be at the middle of the circle. And make it tight with one hand and with the other. Insert the thinner wire in to be crisscrossed with the circle and the vertical line. And after making the first tie, squeeze it well and pull it to be all attached all around the wires. And repeat this for about three, four times to be attached well. And do that till the ending point of the wire. And don't forget to push it with chain nose pliers. But how? Just let me explain and show you how I do that. Just put it between the pliers and push it. Then cut the extra part of this wire and do the same at the other side. At the end, there shouldn't be any sharp edges left. Okay, the two joints are almost done. But let me, uh, one of my experiments to make the joints more safe and more tight. After you had wrapped the thinner wire all around both wires in the circle, wrap it one time on the upper wire and one time on the other one. Then squeeze it well and you'd be confident to have a very tough and safe joint. If you would like this kind of experiments, drop a comment for me. Here we have this stone hovering and there is no problem, but if you would like, you could add another wire wrapping at the top. Leave a space of about one centimeters from one side and make a 90 degree bend as the start. But this is not still finished, just one more step and that is to polish the ending point of this wire earring but making the jewelry file and applying it on the sharp edges to be soft enough. You could cover your fingers with a napkin to prevent the jewelry file bother your skin and fingers. Of course, the napkin may be torn, but that's too way better to lose your beautiful skin. And after making the ending point soft, your wire earring is ready and I hope you enjoy it.